In this video, I am going to show you how to use the count function in Microsoft Excel. Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha, where you can find tips and tutorials on productivity tools. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and smash the bell icon to stay updated. Count is a simple yet powerful function in Microsoft Excel. Let's see how we can use it for our data analysis. Here on the left side, you see a table of data showing the various types of fruits and the sale amount. We can get good analysis data from this table using the count function. The different types of count functions are count, count a, count blank and two types of conditional counts. Let's see the first one which is called count. This basically counts only numeric values. So in cell H5, let's write the formula is equal to count of as range which is cell B3 to C18 and let's close our brackets. You see though there are 32 entries in this, it counts only 16 as there are only 16 numeric values. So let's say I change this data to a numeric value. Now you see that the count has gone to 17. Let me just undo that. If you want to count even the non-numeric values, we need to use the function count A. So let's type in the formula in the cell H7, count A of Again, select our data B3 to C18 and press enter. And now we see the answer as 32. To count the number of blanks in a data set, there is a function called count blank. So let me just delete the data here. And now you see that our count A has reduced by 1. And if you want to count the blank, we need to put in the formula count blank. And again, select our data set. There you see, it calculates that there is one blank cell. So if I again fill in the data, the count blank goes to zero. For data analysis, we may want to do some advanced conditional counts. For example, what if you wanted to count the number of orange occurrence in this data set? So for that, we need to use the formula count if. These are the various conditions for which I am going to show you what the formula is going to look like. So let's go to cell H11 and put in the formula to calculate the orange occurrence in this data set. So it's going to be equal to count if of the range which I have selected from B3 to B18 and the criteria. Here we can just select the cell G11. There, it shows that orange occurs three times in this data set. If you change this to peach, also shows as three. Let me change it to grapes. It shows that it occurs four times. What if you wanted to count the occurrence of both grapes and peach? To do it in a simple way, we need to type in two counter formulas. So it's going to be count if of our range, comma, the criteria is going to be grapes plus count if of again our range and the second criteria is going to be each. This condition is to calculate all the amounts which are greater than or equal to 500. To do that, the formula is going to be equal to count if of the range. Now it's going to be the column C as that is where the amounts are there followed by the criteria which is going to be greater than equal to 500 close the quotes and the brackets and it shows that six entries are greater than or equal to 500 in this data set. And if you want to calculate for an amount less than 200, it's going to be counted of a range again, which is column C and the condition is now going to be less than 200. And this shows that there are two occurrence of such data. What if we had multiple conditions? In that case, we need to use count ifs. So let's say we wanted to find all the amounts which are greater than 200 but less than 500. So the formula is going to be equal to count ifs of what is the criteria range 1. It's going to be a cell C3 to C18 and the criteria 1 is going to be less than 500. The criteria 2 now again is also going to be cell C3 to C18. The criteria 2 is going to be greater than 200. So now we are looking for all the occurrences which is less than 500 and greater than 200. 
and this shows that there are eight such occurrences. What if you wanted to see all the counts of banana which has greater than sale amount of 500? To do that, the count ifs formula is going to be count ifs of criteria range 1, which is B3 to B18, in which we are going to look for banana and the criteria range 2 is going to be the amount in which we are going to look at the cases of greater than 500. So there are two such occurrences which is going to be this one and this. The third occurrence of banana is less than 500 and hence was not counted. Similarly, if we had more than two conditions, the syntax is going to be the same. So here we are going to put count ifs of the criteria range 1 which the first one is going to be checking for apple should be equal to apple followed by the criteria range 2 now we need to put the conditions for our amount which is column c3 to c18 where the first criteria is going to be it should be less than 500 again we need to select our column c3 to c18 and the second criteria is going to be greater than 200. So there is one such occurrence which is right here. Though count is a simple formula, it can be really powerful for data analysis. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time.